Hey guys, today I'm gonna share with you this creative black and white text effect. If you want to know how to make this, then don't miss out on this tutorial. Just download the video plug flagger from the comment section and get started with me. Open Video Proc Flagger. Create a new project. First, let's get two images with a solid color. Find this text icon on the toolbar. Click on it. Delete the text. Then come over to the preview window and find this camera icon. Click on it. In this way, we can turn a black background into a black image. Go back to the main interface. Find this icon, click on it. Find the background option. Changing the color to white. Click on down to apply this color. Then take the same steps to save a white image. Next, we click on this button changing the background color to green. This is an important step. Afterward, we choose the text clip on the subtitle track. Then we come over to the inspector panel. Edit the text. Select the font we like. Resize the text. Make use of the layout rectangle feature to tweak the details. I don't like the shadow effect, so I scroll down to find the text shadow section. Move this slider to get rid of the shadow. Last, we hit this camera icon to take a snapshot of the current text. Now, let's add these three images to the program. Delete the original text. Restore the background color to the default black. Then, we add the black image to the video track. Add the white image to the overlay track. Adjust the size and the position of the white image. After we get this black and white image, we click on this button to generate a new image. Then add it to the program. That's all for making the edits for this part. First, let's drag this image to the video track. Adjust the duration. Then we find the motion icon located on the toolbar. Click on it to enter the motion editor panel. Click on add keyframe to add a keyframe at the starting point. Adjust the size and the position of this selection box. Then we drag the playhead backward. We click on Add Keyframe. We want to make a rotation effect, so we just need to adjust the volume of the rotation. Let's try 180. Take a preview. This is how we make it rotate for one round. We need to keep this state, so Let's add a keyframe at the latter part. Changing the rotation volume to 360. That can help us rotate it for two rounds. Let's keep adding keyframes. Changing the rotation volume to 540. Last, we add the last keyframe. 
edits the volume of rotation. That's all for getting the wanted outcome. Click on Apply to confirm the adjustments. If you need these effects to last longer, you can use the shortcut Ctrl and C to copy it. Then press Ctrl and V to paste it in the back. Now we make it rotate for several rounds. Let's add the text image to the overlay track. Adjust its size to fit it to the screen. Then we're changing its duration to make it align with the clip on the video track. Next, we go to the inspector panel to find the chroma key section. Check enabled. In this way, we get rid of the green colors. Then you'll notice the white text and the white background blended together. It's hard to tell the text from the background. Thus, we need to use the Blend Mode feature. Scroll down to find the Compositing section. Select the Exclusion Blend Mode. Now we get things fixed. Let's preview the final work. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. If you want to see more creative tutorials of different types and topics, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!